Hello students, today we will be learning chapter 2 that is components of food. I, I hope you must have seen the video of chapter 1, today we will be learning chapter 2, ok. So what all are the basic components of food? There are two components of food like it has 5 nutrients and the two essential components of food are water and roughage as you can see in this figure. The, what are the nutrients? Nutrients are the chemical substance that is present in food. The 5 nutrients are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving nutrients. Proteins are called bodybuilding nutrients and vitamins and minerals are called protective nutrients. So, we will be learning them separately. First, we will start with carbohydrates. What are carbohydrates? What are the food rich in carbohydrates? Okay. Carbohydrates contain sugar and starch. Okay. They are quick energy givers. They give us quick energy. Food rich in carbohydrates. What are the foods? Rice, wheat, potatoes, bananas, bread, sugar. These are the good sources of carbohydrates. Okay. And uh, when you take excess carbohydrate, it is being normally stored in the body in the form of fats. Okay. Now, we will be learning about fats. What are fats? What are, are the food that is rich in fats? Fats are stored under the skin and around the heart and the kidneys. There are different kinds of fats. Okay. The fats stored in our body also help us to keep, also help us to keep warm. Okay. It helps the body to keep warm. Fats are actually, they contain more energy than carbohydrates. And fats can be obtained from both plants and animals. Some plant sources we can see are that sunflower oil, different types of oil, ghee, almonds, peanuts, from these we get fat and the, uh, we get animal fat from meat, fish, eggs. So, these are the foods that is rich in fat. An adult body require around 70 to 80 percent, 80 grams of fat per day. Okay. Next is proteins. Let us see protein, what are proteins and uh, what all are the food rich in protein? Protein are called body building food. Okay. When we grow, our body needs protein to make new cells. Growing children and sick people, they require more protein in their diet. Okay. Now, next, let us see what all are the food that is rich in protein. Proteins are obtained, it, it can also be obtained from plants and animals like fats. For example, like protein can be found in pulses, soya bean and grams and also in meat, fish and eggs. And the total requirement of protein in one day is around 50 to 60 grams, okay, for an adult body. Now, we will study about vitamins and minerals. Today, we will be learning some of the vitamins, their importance, their sources and what all are the deficiency diseases that can happen to us if we lack in these vitamins same as with minerals. Vitamins are used to fight diseases. They are there to fight disease and minerals are used for the formation of bones, teeth and blood. Okay. So, let us see some of the vitamins. That is vitamin A. Vitamin A, the sources of vitamin A is milk, butter, eggs, carrot, cod liver oil, tomatoes, green leafy vegetables. And what is the importance of vitamin A? Why in vitamin A is important for our body? It's for natural, for normal growth, it keeps our eyes and skin healthy. And if there is deficiency of vitamin A in our body, which disease will happen to us? That is night blindness. In this what happens? It is inability to see in dim light and irregular growth of growth of teeth may also happen. Now, let us see vitamin B complex B1. Vitamin B, what are the sources? Seafood, milk, meat, peas, cereals and green vegetables. What is the importance of vitamin B1? It is important for growth and, develop, growth and development. What is the deficiency disease may happen? 
that is beriberi and it affects the nervous system. Next is vitamin B2. The sources are yeast, eggs, meat, peas. It is important for healthy skin and growth for the body growth and if there is deficiency of vitamin B2 what will happen? There can be skin diseases and retarded growth. Vitamin B3 also known as niacin sources are whole cereals, potatoes, tomatoes, meat and fish. It is important for healthy skin for proper functioning of both digestive and nervous system and the deficiency disease may happen is plagara which affects the skin and affects digestive system as well as nervous system. Next is B12, vitamin B12. The sources of vitamin B12 are liver, eggs, milk and fish. Importance is it helps in the formation of RBC that is red blood cells and deficiency disease is it is a kind of anemia in which there is a deficiency of red blood cells. Okay, Here the deficiency disease anemia happens when there is deficiency of iron. Iron is a, is a mineral which happens in your body. Okay, But if there is deficiency of vitamin B12 then a kind of anemia may happen to you. Next is vitamin C. Vitamin C the sources are Indian gooseberry also we call it amla tomatoes, green leafy vegetable, all the citrus fruits and water chestnut also known as singhada. Okay. The importance is for healthy growth and strong blood vessels. The deficiency disease may happen is scurvy in which gums swell up and bleed. Wounds also take longer to heal. Next is vitamin D. What are the sources of vitamin D? Sunlight. Uh, uh, you are always being said to sit under sunlight for some time in every day. Why? Because it helps our skin to prepare vitamin D in our body. Next sources are milk, butter, green vegetables, cod liver oil. What are the importance? It helps to use calcium for formation of strong bones and teeth. And if there is deficiency of vitamin D, what will happen? The disease is rickets in which bones becomes soft and out of shape and it also affects children. Last is vitamin K. The sources are green vegetables like spinach, cabbage and soya bean oil. The importance is helps in clotting of blood and deficiency diseases. It, what may happen? There is excessive bleeding from the wounds. Now next we will be seeing some of the minerals and their sources, importance and what all the other deficiency disease may happen. First is iron. What are the sources? Liver, eggs, meat, green vegetables, turnip, germinating, wheat grains and yeast. Importance is for the formation of substance that helps in red blood cells carry oxygen to body cells. And what are the deficiency disease? The only deficiency disease is anemia. The patients become weak. Next mineral is calcium. Sources are milk and milk products, tapioca, green leafy vegetables and finger millets also called ragi. Okay. Importance is for strong bones and teeth. Deficiency disease, what may happen? Weak bones and tooth decay. Next is phosphorus. Sources, meat, fish, eggs and whole grains. Importance is for the development of strong bones and teeth for making energy rich compounds in the cell of our body. And uh, deficiency disease what may happen is there is weakness, bad teeth and bones. Next is, next mineral is potassium. Sources are green and yellow vegetables. Importance is for growth and for keeping cells and blood healthy. And uh, if there is deficiency of vitam uh, vitamin potassium, there is deficiency of potassium, what will happen? Muscle weakness can happen. Next is sodium. The main source of sodium is common salt Com and then importance it of it is, it is for proper functioning of the nervous system. Deficiency disease, muscle cramps and tiredness, you may feel tired. Next is fluorine and it can be found in some water in some areas. 
and importance of it is it makes the enamel of the teeth hard and prevents dental caries and deficiency disease may what may happen dental caries may happen now the next we will be learning about water and roughage as you know that water is very important for our body so let's see how water is important and you know that it around 70 percent of our body weight is water so let's see what all roles water may play in our life or in our body system first is it helps our body to absorb nutrients from the food it helps to transport nutrients th throughout the body it collects waste from different parts of the body and removes them from the body in the form of urine and sweat sweat is only water mainly water okay and the body is being cooled by evaporation of sweat from the skin okay so uh, as uh, you know that uh, the sweat may comes out of body and it is a water only so around 6 to 8 glasses of water you should drink per day okay now next we will be learning about roughage roughage adds bulk to our food it is uh, roughage can be found in fruits and vegetables okay and it also prevents constipation and ensures proper bowel movement now next we will be seeing a chart of some of the food items and what all are the nutrients we get from those food items okay first is cereals first is cereals cereals like wheat and rice it has maximum amount of carbohydrates less protein and small amount of vitamins and minerals next is sugar sugar contains 100 percent of carbohydrates pulses it contains less carbohydrates but more protein it has small amount of vitamins and minerals also that is why pulses are set as a good source of protein next is the animal food that is fish meat eggs these are the good sources of protein as well as fat next is milk and milk products these these are rich in mineral calcium which is good for bones and teeth next is carrot rich in vitamin a which is good for eyes spinach and cabbage rich in vitamins and minerals and clarified butter that is ghee butter or oil it contains 100 percent of fats so let's re, uh, recap it that carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving food proteins bodybuilding food and vitamins and minerals are called protective foods now the next topic is balanced diet what is a balanced diet a balanced diet is a diet which has right amount of all the nutrients nutrients like carbohydrates fats vitamins mineral minerals and proteins and uh, the balanced diet is not same for everyone it depends on age gender and what type of work we do okay so now let's we'll now we'll be learning about the deficiency disease so what is deficiency disease a deficiency disease is a disease which happens when there is a lack of any nutrient in your body okay now we'll be uh, we'll see different types of deficiency diseases if there is deficiency of carbohydrates in your body what will happen if there is deficiency of proteins or if there is deficiency of any vitamin vitamin or mineral so what will happen in your body we'll see okay so first we'll be learning about the deficiency of carb what happens if there is deficiency of carbohydrates if your diet gives you less energy than required by your body so it means that your diet is having deficiency in carbohydrates okay people with carbohydrate deficiency in their diet are weak and they don't have that much stamina to do work so they are not able to bear physical and mental strain on the other side if you eat too much of if you take too much of carbohydrates what will happen that carbohydrates will store in the form of fat in your body and this will lead to what overweight means your body weight will increase and this is called obesity what it is called obesity and this was also then you must have seen that health fat people with obese people are not they are not active much and uh, they also suffer from diseases such as heart diseases 
next we'll be learning about if what will happen if there is deficiency of proteins and fat fats in your diet so there are two diseases that is kwashiorkor and marasmus kwashiorkor is a disease caused by protein deficiency in children okay the stomach becomes swollen the legs become thin and the skin shows ugly patches okay in your body if the disease is not treated in time the mental and physical growth of the body slows down next is marasmus marasmus is the disease in children caused by the deficiency of protein carbohydrates and fats okay the child becomes so thin you can see in the picture also in your book given so thin that loose folds of skin can be seen over all over the body next is the deficiency of if there is deficiency of vitamin and mineral in your diet what will happen you must uh, just now we have learned from those charts that if there is deficiency of certain vitamin what all are the diseases that may happen and and if there is deficiency of certain mineral what will happen now in uh, it's it uh, we are going to learn only four diseases these are scurvy rickets anemia and goiter first we'll go for scurvy scurvy is the disease you know that is caused due to the lack of vitamin c if if you have scurvy the main symptoms will be so there is will be swelling and bleeding in the gums and wounds if you have wounds in your body that will not heal properly okay so if you don't want scurvy to happen what you should take you should take food that is rich in vitamin c next is rickets rickets is a disease of bones in chil uh, the children suffering from rickets their bones become soft and hence they get bent and deformed as you can see in the picture okay a picture given in your book and in adult what will happen the bones become brittle and they can be fractured easily so to avoid rickets what you should take you should take the food that is rich in vitamin d next is anemia anemia is caused when there is deficiency of iron in your diet okay it is the disease in which there is deficiency of substance called hemoglobin found in the red blood cells of your body okay and uh, this uh, and there is another type of anemia that is re results from the lack of vitamin b12 that we have just now studied okay next is goiter goiter is caused by the lack of mineral called iodine in our diet okay the thyroid gland that is situated in the neck region that it it's become swell, swollen and there is reduced production of chemical called thyroxine in the body that controls growth so if a child is suffering from goiter shows slow and retarded physical and mental growth so uh, consumption of iodized salt helps to reduce the incidence of goiter so these were the topics that we have learned today we have learned all the deficiency the main uh, deficiency diseases and the main components of food so and the assignments related to this and the exercises and the question answers are attached in the description box you may see from there you will find there in the description box till the time take care of yourself study at home and uh, be safe thank you